turbulence. You must have seen headlines talk about Go First. It's a budget carrier. Earlier it was known as Go Air. This airline has filed for bankruptcy. The second such case in four years. The second Indian airline to declare bankruptcy in four years. The first one was Jet Airways. <laughs> The fact that Go First has been facing issues is not. Jet Airways, Ahasara, Kingfisher, Air Deccan. Can you tell me what is common between these airlines? These all airlines have shut their operations or ceased their operations due to financial constraints. Now, India's fifth largest carrier, Go First, has also filed for insolvency and ceased their operations. In today's video, we will learn how what things went wrong for Go First and how this will impact our Indian. Industry. On troubled runway. The question in the limelight is whether the airline will be able to use its wings to fly again. The airline will not carry any flights across India and outside India from May 3rd to 5th, but looks like this could be extended for many more. And this is extended till 29th May. That's because Go First has opted for involuntary solvency, as it does not have sufficient cash to keep fuel running in the engines. In such a scenario, other airlines are likely to benefit. But what about air passengers then? Citing operational reasons as the cause for flight cancellation, Go First on its website notified saying Google First flights scheduled for 3rd and 3rd to 5th May 2023 have been cancelled. Go First have also shocked the aviation industry by filing for insolvency resolution process before NCLT. The real problem in Go First is this ever increasing number of failing engines supplied by Pratt and Whitney. This has led to heavy losses in Go First financial books and hence a cash crunch to run the operations. Dinesh Joshi, a research, a research analyst, Prabhudas Lehadar said that Alliance have been facing severe fund crunch since half of its fleet out of 61 aircraft that go first has a fleet 28 in operations. It's grounded due to trouble over non-supply of engines from Pratt & Whitney. As per the airline statement, go first has grounded 50% of its fleet, which is due to the serial, serial, serial failure of Pratt & Whitney engines, while the airline continued to incur 100% in operational cost. This resulted in GoFirst losing a chunk of 10,800 crores in revenues and additional expenses. The percentage of grounding aircraft because of faulty Pratt & Whitney engines has skyrocketed to 50%. As of 2022, from 31% as of 2022 and from, 20, uh, from a single digit of 10% as of 2019. GoFirst claims that the American airspace manufacturer has given several ongoing assurances over years but failed to meet. Further, Joshi explained that the pertinent to note the airline has already on cash and carry more, paying OMCs on daily basis for fuel, and has now filed for voluntary insolvency to these solutions. Over the last 15 months, promoters had invested $366 million in, into the company, but it was insufficient to cover expenses, and the airline was planning to raise money in recent weeks, which apparently seems to have failed. Now, GoFirst has also defaulted in the payments of lease and rentals to lessers and the lessers have started to take actions again in, in airline. The airline received notice from lessers for termination in aircraft lease agreement, while some of them have also reportedly invoked the letters of credit. With the grey clouds hovering over Go first, this seemed to be a positive for Indian airlines to grab airlines market share in the, their kitty. But chances are that this trouble is likely to lead in to increase the airfares, which can hit passengers' pockets. In that case, Joshi believes that sudden disruption in operation is likely to benefit other players and raise APS due to supply constraints. During January March of 2023, the Go First market share stood 10.8 with passengers carried to 29.11 lakh as per DGC data. Go First's immediate competition was with Tata's two, two group airlines, namely Air India and Vistara, who hold a market share of 9% and 8.8%. In the first quarter of 2023, Air India and Vistara outperformed the cash trap airline with passenger of passenger number of 33.7 lakh and 33.07 lakh respectively. Go first has been has more market share than Air Asia and other listed airlines. Finally, another low-cost carrier, Indigo, holds dominance in the aviation industry with market share of 55.7%, with passenger carry to 209,000 between January to March 2023 quarter. Go first operated 200 flights daily. In the year 2022, the market share of Go first stood 
Go for bankruptcy filing would be in second in 5 years after Jet Airways failure in 2019. In, it is worth noting that Jet Airways although has been rescued by Murali Lal Jalan and asset management from Carl Rock is yet to be commence its operations in market. How, how much time Go first takes to hit the runway again will be keenly observed.